Welcome to Biz Coach and Coffee, where our guests are experts, entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants that share tips, strategies, and tactics to help small business entrepreneurs grow their business for long term success. Please welcome your host, Biz Coach Steve Feld. Well, hello, everyone. I'm Biz Coach Steve Feld, and my goal is to stop business owners from suffering entrepreneurial depression and start making running their businesses much easier. Business owners and entrepreneurs hire me to crack multiple six and seven figures without burning themselves out. Today, we have another great guest for you. Tracy Beavers is a business and sales coach from Arkansas. She has helped hundreds of entrepreneurs over the years with everything from overcoming the fear of sales to growing their business by visibility through organic marketing strategies. She walks hand in hand with her clients, providing them a roadmap of clear action steps so they can put their pinders on and confidently get to work. Building your business does not have to be a struggle. Hmm, Sounds like we have a lot in common. And Tracy can help show you how to build it with ease. So welcome, Tracy. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Well, the first question I always ask is, why did you get into this or what started all this? How did you get into business and doing what you do? Yeah. Why did I board the entrepreneurial crazy train? It's a good question. So I got completely fed up with corporate America. Um, I was raised in that generation where you go to high school, you go to college, you graduate, you get the degree, you go get the job. And you, even if you hate it, you stay there for 40 years and you suck it up, buttercup, and then you get to retire with a pension. That's how old I am. They used to have those. You get a pension and the 401k and a gold watch and a retirement party, right? No, it didn't happen. So (laughs) somewhere around 2005 was my first taste of corporate instability. And it just sort of percolated over since that time. Um, That was my first um, time to be downsized and restructured, which I never saw coming. Nobody did. That was around the time corporate started doing things like that. And then um, fast forward through um, different careers and um, all of it related to sales, all of it related to production, but it was banking, title insurance, real estate, um, all of that, some toxic bosses, some bosses that didn't know how to compensate a sales force. It just was frustrating to be a working mom and making over six figures, I was making great money, but I was stressed out and I wasn't happy and I wasn't, didn't feel like I was seeing my kids. And I just was like, is this all there is? I mean, this is, this is just not what I signed up for. And so I started doing a lot of reflection on what are my strengths? What do I love to do? And the, the, the thread through everything I have ever done to that point, the common thread was helping other people win. And I actually started to, to be, I started out being a life coach, but then I quickly realized through some really great friends and mentors, business and sales is my jam. I'm a good life coach, yeah. but I'm an even better business and sales person because that is my background. I have a marketing degree and all of the marketing business development, sales growth things that I've been through in the last 20 years. And sales has always been super easy for me, which Come to find out, it's not easy for a lot of people. And I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. So I just, I decided to throw my hat in the ring and, um, and here I am doing yeah. it. Excellent. Yeah. I, I'm totally into business. I mean, owned and operated seven of them and turned around three others. So I totally yeah. get you. Yeah. And even one of those, it was, they hired me on as the employee. Uh huh. And I said, well, you know, I'm still doing my thing. Right. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, the six figure, high six figures, it was like, okay, everything's good. And I'm like, why would I ever want to work for somebody? Yeah, for sure. Yes. I actually had to report to four boards and I was like, okay, now I remember. Right. Right. Yeah. So definitely who, you know, you said you're helping a lot of people with sales. That's so true in the small business owners, entrepreneurs. That's one of their tough struggles. So who is it exactly you serve that comes to you and going, oh my God, I need help? Oh, wow. So that's a great question. Um, so it, it, my, my clients have run the gamut from brick and mortar, traditional brick and mortar here locally, um, startups here locally, because I'm also a consultant through the University of Arkansas, through their Small Business Technology Development Center. So I have a lot of clients that come to me through their grant funding that way. Um, so that's a great mix. It's super cool because you never know you know, what you're going to work on next. 
So I've worked on some startups. I've worked on some brick and mortar, but most recently I'm really finding uh, my groove in the online space, helping online service-based entrepreneurs like me, like you um, grow their online business. Whether it's, I have a couple of clients that are long arm quilters and they have amazing online courses and memberships and I've helped them grow and scale to, you know, five figure launches. And then I have, um, but then I also have some real estate agents. I'm helping a local real estate agent that I've known for a long time. She's a high producer. She figured out she was the bottleneck in her business. And I was like, yes, you are. Let's fix it. And so I'm working with her assistant to get everything streamlined so that she can actually do the part of the real estate she loves the most. Um, I have another uh, online client that's a nutrition coach, uh, personal trainer and nutrition coach. She's putting together a course. So really kind of um, a mix, which has been really, really cool. But I do believe that um, the online space is really where I want to be the most. I feel like that's where I can be the most effective because what I teach is organic strategies. Um, as you mentioned, I, I have built uh, businesses over the years. I've built three successful businesses over the last seven years, and I've done them all without any paid advertising. And I think that especially with the landscape changing in the last year or so with regard to Facebook ads and them getting wonky and people are spending lots of money, not getting the right, right kinds of leads or as many leads as they used to, you know, that landscape has changed some and it's made people kind of pull back and figure and try to figure out how can I grow this thing without throwing money out the window? Mm -hmm. And so that's where I come in. Um, just using all the organic methods that I've developed over the years, using social media, building the email list. You know, what are your offers, making sure your offers are priced accordingly. Um, and then the sales piece comes in because we're all salespeople. Right. And that's that's what's so funny to me is when somebody says, I'm not a salesperson. I'm like, OK, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, you are. Yeah. We all are. And so but, but in my female clients, especially. They don't want to feel uh, salesy. They don't want anybody to think they're spamming them. They don't want to feel they don't want to be perceived as annoying or aggressive. And so I help them overcome those roadblocks because sometimes they have these amazing products and services and they get to the sales part and they just stop and they just right. stand up and they're like, I can't do it. And I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> this is what we worked for. <laughs> let's get, you know, let's get your offer out there and let's sell it. Cause if you're not going to tell people what you've got, they can't buy from you. Absolutely. And I totally agree that even one of the companies I turned around, everyone heard the same thing. People in accounting, well, we don't do sales here. It's like, yes, you do. And we started doing sales training for everyone in every department. And it was amazing. The mindset, it was just mindset. Yeah. That's Shit. It. It's like every vendor you talk to, all our suppliers, you're se we're selling us to them. Mm -hmm. And let's take it up one notch without you being a salesperson. Exactly. We started doing that. Next thing you know, our vendors and suppliers want like be our clients. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sales is easy for me because I just bring it down to being a human being. And I'm sure you do this as well. That's all it is, is I'm a human being. You're a human being. I'm going to get to know you. I'm going to make that connection. I'm going to find out what does Steve need? What can, what it, do I have the capability to help him? If I do awesome, I'm going to share what I've got and let you decide if you're going to buy or not. And if I can't help you, I'm going to try my darndest to find you somebody that can. Mm -hmm. And I tell people this all the time, schedule a free info call with me. I'll be the first one to tell you if I'm not the right coach for you. That's it. Because I, I got to sleep at night. First of all, I'm not going to take somebody's money, but you know, it's super important to figure, to ask those questions where you know exactly what they need. And then what I like to remind my clients of is, okay, so maybe what you're offering isn't exactly what they need in that moment. But if you work to find them the person that can help them, they are going to remember you and they are going to come back to you when they're ready mm -hmm. or they're going to love what you do so much. They're going to refer people to you. I've got people here in town that will never need me as a business coach because they have no desire to be an entrepreneur, right. but they know who I am and they know my heart and they've seen the, the hundreds of entrepreneurs I've helped. And so when they run into a business owner, they're like, okay, hold on. Do you have a business coach? You need to call Tracy. And so, you know, on the face of it, it doesn't look like that person would be the best connection for my business, but you just never know. That's it. And a lot, I think there's, that's a great point. It's like a lot of small business owners and entrepreneurs, they're thinking, well, you're not my client. So goodbye. 
Yes, exactly. I don't want to waste my time on you because they're just, they're like going into the chamber of commerce luncheon yep. and they're just like blinders on. Who's my client? Who's my client? Who's my client? And the universe is going to bring you way more right. connections if you just chill out and act like a human being and, and help other people. That's yep. it. That's it. It's just helping other people. What do they need? Can I help them in, in any way? And then they'll, they'll want to help you too. That's the way it, it's the way it should work. It's the way it works most of the time for it, me. It works the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to get a little deeper into that and show people it's like how to ask these kind of questions because they're very simple. We're going to take a quick little break from our sponsor, but we'll be right back with Tracy. This episode is sponsored by Spotlight Books. Get your expert book completed in 30 days. If you don't have an expert, lead magnet book about you and how you serve your market, then visit www.spotlight-books.com. Link is also in the show notes. Put a spotlight on your expertise. And we're back with Tracy. And we're talking about, you know, when you're meeting someone, just don't think, I'm just looking for the sale. Who's my client? Because we see it so much at networking events, and that's what makes networking not so fun. Mm, Because everyone's trying to, I always say, sell your junk. Yeah, sell to, I, they're just there to sell stuff. Sell like stuff. Them. Whereas I'm there, it's like one of three things are going to happen. Mm-hmm. Either we're going to collaborate on an event, be a joint venture, or create something new, mm-hmm. or I'll be a resource for you and I'll point you to the right person, place, whatever. And I have that kind of resources. I'll be more than happy to share. Or, you know what? We become, you'll become my client, or I'll become your client. Right. right. Let's find that out. But you go in with an open mindset, and I think you you nailed it. So talking about organic mm-hmm. marketing, this yeah. is a nice organic way. Mm-hmm. It is. It just um, it, what I what I want people to do is I want to, them to forget about the word sales, mm-hmm. sale, sales, purchase, buy, all those words. Take them out of your vocabulary. Just don't use them because that's where your brain gets blocked. That, at least for my clients, they're like, I'm not good at sales. I'm like, okay, then we're not going to talk about sales. Right. We're going to talk about how you have a product or a service that will benefit somebody else. And we're going to talk about how you're going to share that with people. Mm-hmm. That's all you're doing is you're just like you said, you go into that networking event and one of several things could happen. We don't know which one. It's, it, that's what makes networking for me exciting and why exactly. I love it so much um, is because I just never know where it's going to lead. It's like that. Do you remember that game Minesweeper that was on everybody's computers way back in the day and the employers were so mad because they could never get it off there? Right. And it was like, you could click on the little button and you didn't know if you were going to get a whole bunch of stuff that opened up or if it was just one little thing. And that's what networking feels like to me. It's like the next person you meet could blow your business wide open. But if you don't, have that mindset, you're going to miss it. Mm-hmm. So if you go into it, just getting to know the other person, you share with them what you do. They're going to share with you what they do. They're not trying to sell. They shouldn't be trying to sell you. Um, and then that's how the transaction will unfold. We'll see how it's going to unfold. But if we go into it thinking, uh, you know, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. I've got to find my client. I've got to throw up all, everything I've got all over them in one go. I've, this is my only chance. It's going to fail. I agree. Completely. It's funny you mention that because I go to a networking event called Secret Sauce. So well, yeah, cool. we kind of figure out the secret. So I invited someone as my guest and they're like, so should I bring a lot of business cards? I go, absolutely not. And he's like, what? And I go, it's not like what you've been. Mm-hmm. going to this you have to actually develop a connection and you must give a resource out to help someone in the room before you're allowed to leave nice and like, whoa and i go yeah. yeah you very rarely see a business card being passed in this room because yeah. everyone's developing a deep connection but they're pulling out their phones and giving each other resources here's yeah. who you need to talk to here's why let me make an introduction right, right. now right that's what you see in this room not Here's my 30 second elevator pitch. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. I like that you have to give a resource before you leave the room. I think that's really cool. Yeah. When the guy first started, he'd actually be at the exit. <laughs> Who did you help? 
in this room. I love it. You had to point to them and you grab them. Did, what did they help you with? Well, I was looking for someone like a CPA who does this. They gave me so-and-so's name and they actually did an email introduction while we were there. Yeah. Okay, you can leave. Yeah, nice. It, it was like, wow. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. And everyone that... regulates themselves, but that's the kind yeah. of deeper connection I think we're both talking about to everyone. Yes, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Because, you know, we don't like it. You you know what it feels like to be sold to. People <laughs> want to buy. They just don't want to be sold to. And there's right. there's a huge difference between those two things. Exactly. It's funny. I'm finishing up my seventh book on the final edit. And it's about how to build a successful networking group. Nice. Because I've done a lot of consulting at different kinds of networking, everything, leads, referrals, and everything else. And you just mentioned that. It's like, I've been to those MLM networking events. Mm -hmm. And I, I was like leaving the room going, I need a shower. Right. Yeah. It's gross. It's gross. And, and the network marketing industry has really given sales a bad name. It really has. Cause they don't care about value. They're just trying to hawk their goods. Right. Now, some of them are doing a really great job. Yes. And that, cause I actually have built two successful network marketing businesses, but I did mine completely different than the way they were trying to train us how to do it. I, you know the copy and paste strategies and the Hey girl messages and all that. It's just, it just doesn't feel good. No. That's the other, that's the other thing that I remind my clients of this business is yours. Or if you're in a sales career working for a company, your portfolio is yours. That's your baby. You get to build this thing in a way that's authentic to you. Mm -hmm. You can look at all the strategies other people are using. You can look at emails people are sending or marketing copy or whatever. Take what inspires you, but turn it into you and yours. And, you know, my clients will say, well, should I do this? Should I do that? And I'm like, how does it feel in your gut? Does it feel aligned with who you are? Are these words that you would say, is this how you would approach somebody in a coffee shop to have a conversation? You know, let's dial it back to who are you and what do you want to do when it, when it comes to sales? Because, because again, again, it's all about building those authentic connections and those authentic relationships. And if we try to be someone we're not, that's when it's going to go south in a hurry. People can smell that too. Don't you think when oh, you, you're with somebody and you're like, this just doesn't smell right. <laughs> yeah. Like, something's not right here. I got to go. Yeah. I don't think this person's being genuine. Yeah. But I love that you're writing a book about networking. I think that's super cool. Yeah. I've just done consulting with many chambers and national some international groups they all they brought me in to like what's wrong with it, with this group right it's like wow i could see it from a mile away because i've right. done so many of these kind of things so yeah and now it's just putting it all in the book so this is a great way to build your business yeah you know like there's a even give you an example a financial planner i know so he started a speed networking group Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, it turned into multiple speed networking groups, turned into social networking groups. Then it turned into lead referral groups. He grew his business by over 500% year over year. He didn't do any selling. That's, I love it. I love it. That's what you want. That's how you want to build a business. That's it. It was very organic because he got to know everyone in a totally different manner. Yeah, for sure. And then what, and then what happens is the, the growth starts to flip into um, you're not having to turn cartwheels at the front of the house to try to attract new people in yeah. because all the new people that are coming to you are coming to you from referral. It was and yeah. they're warmed up and they're ready to go because they you've been recommended. I mean, that's that's phenomenal. That's the dream that we all have is having a business with the new clients coming in, warmed up, ready to go by referral. Um, wow, that's really that's cool. Yeah. We got lots of good examples in the book, thank God. <laughs> but I know on our show, we like to give something away. And I know you have something to give away. So tell everyone, what is it? Yeah, for sure. So speaking of selling, I do have a free resource that I know everyone is going to want to grab. It is called Selling Without Selling. And it is going to help you overcome those mental roadblocks that you all have. When, it, when I say the word sales and you all flinch and you go, Ugh, you know, that's what we're going to overcome. It's a real quick video with an interactive um, guide for you to go through. Um, and you can grab that. It's tracybeavers.com forward slash selling. And I know you're going to put that in the show notes for me. That's amazing. And I also have a um, the opening of my 
eight week group coaching program. Speaking of organic marketing, the strategies that I teach, it's called business visibility made easy. And it's a step-by-step -step system to gain new clients without paid advertising. And the doors to that open in the mid middle of September. So I know you're going to put the link to the wait list on that in the show notes as well. I would love to have anybody come in. Um, I'm have, going to have several master classes to teach um, a bite-sized pieces of what the course is about to give people a taste of whether or not it's the right fit for them. And totally open to hopping on info calls of anybody that has questions about it. Because as I say, I don't want anybody to come into the program and spend their money if it's not the right fit. Uh, that's super important to me to be in integrity that way. But yeah, free stuff. Excellent. That's what we like to give away. So I'll have all that information in the show notes. So please take advantage of Tracy's offer. Tracy, I just want to say thank you very much for being our guest today. Thanks so much. I really have enjoyed it. I really did. Great. Well, please, folks, make sure you like and subscribe and take advantage of Tracy's offer. This is Biz Coach Steve Fell just wishing you and your business much success. We hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you'd like to discuss how you can apply these strategies in your business, let us know. This episode is sponsored by Spotlight. Get your own expert book written about you in 30 days. Set yourself apart from the competition. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to give us your comments. We look forward to hearing from you on Biz Coach and Coffee.